Okay, okay, okay. Now I know I said I wouldn't do a stream today, but I actually made it. How's it going? How's everyone doing? What is good? So, hey folks here, Bruno Romanos. So I painted more on bubbles yesterday. Um, I painted the example also of healing or protecting. Uh, I also tried to make him look happy. Um, actually, let me do that for a second. Um, wrong file correct file so yeah so I spent a little bit more time on uh, bubbles kind of exploring a little bit who he is what what it looks like and so on. it looks a lot better with color hey roller master is good well thank you yeah so it definitely comes across much better um, I think I want to give him a nose. I want to make him feel a little bit more boyish. I want to try to give him a little bit more attributes or something. I, I'm not sure yet, but I think as a base, we get bubbles, right? Bubbles. I, I, I want to make him a little bit more ju juvenile, uh, but he comes across fun. Hey Nereida, how's it going? Welcome. Mel, Steven, Flawless, Victor, Zealin, how's it going? So, at least, uh, anyways, we got, the, we got a base there, right? Nereida, chess, thank you. So, um, yesterday, I started exploring the next character, the serious guy, the sniper. Um, so I, I sketched these out and I was thinking he could have a really long um, wizard staff. I'm not sure about his face or I'm thinking if like he's serious, which is one of the requirements, right? Again, I need to switch myself so you don't see things that you shouldn't see. So yeah, the serious, the dark old guy cowboy. It's more of like the the sheriff or the law lawman, right? Sniper specialist, owl, vulture, death. I think vulture is more than owl. Owl is more the wise, wise and serious. So this is where we are with this guy. Um. So I'm a bit unsure of where to take him. I kind of like the hunch. Um, I kind of like the regalness of the first pose. I'm not sure where to take it. Oh, and the, the reason why I didn't think I would be able to stream is this is going to look worse than it is, so don't worry. But uh, there's my daughter in the hospital. Uh, it's not a traumatic brain injury, um, but what's happening is that um, they're doing a brain, 24-hour um, brain monitoring and 24-hour uh, heart monitoring in the hospital. Um, because with her genetic disease, and there can be heart uh, failure. So they need to uh, rule out certain conditions. And she's having seizures at day and seizures at night. Uh, so we need to iron out what is seizure and what is not. And what is uh, 
genetic disease and what is epilepsy, all these things. I attract mode studios. Cheers, Mafia. Atsuki, what's good? Right, so it's not a villain, actually. This is the serious character of the group, right? So this is the joyful a bubble from the bubble species. Zealin, it is, Um So let's, I think I will, I think I will redraw them. Or I will work on them a little bit. So one thing that I like with this guy is his face, right? He definitely looks serious. Um, and I kind of like his coat, but it's, I was thinking maybe it's not his coat. Maybe he is, it's wings of sorts, but right? arranged wings. Can we maybe show the seriousness of him by by having him angular i was thinking maybe the serious guy could be like a teacher type character cheers again hey Gria, how's it going um it'll be fine it'll be fine somehow um but um uh, it is such a huge unknown with her and her very like, n not only does she have a rare genetic disease, but her version of the rare, very rare genetic disease is very rare. So her mutation is a specific mutation on the mutation. So there's like, they don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Rollomancer. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I was thinking, like, some of the elements, like, if he's the serious guy, he goes by the rules, right? So I was thinking, could he somehow have, like, laws and regulations? You know, like, he's showing, these are the, these are the, he has always a rule for a situation, he always has a tactical solution. You know, we could have him having um, a lot of these scrolls uh, he carries with him his scrolls you know he's a, he always has um, whatever solution that is maybe he has a bag or an index or some some something that indicates knowledge um, I, I'm not sure really any rate, I thank you. Uh, so yeah, so that's tricky. Um, how to find a solution for that design? But I think, I think, giving him like the, he can pull out the rules of engagement. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm unsure about the pose, right? I want him to feel kind of regal. I don't, I want him to come across as a vulture. I want him to have the vulture neck, but I think he's a bit too evil. He needs to come across I don't want him to be too evil, right? Gria, cool, do it. The thing is with these kind of competition and uh, art station, and I say it every year, participate. Don't stress too much about if you should or shouldn't. Uh, 
the, the most important thing to remember is statistically you will have eyes on you you will have judges you will have sponsors people will see your stuff even if you're not winning even if you're not uh, the most popular thread you will still have people looking and it's a great way for exposure plain and simple and also what you can do which I always do which is always a good thing to do in challenges like this that has an open uh, open setup right is that you can go and look at the challenge uh, and there you can see announcements and submissions and submissions you see all the people's submissions right and under there there is popular following completed so on popular for example you see the people who's being popular and you can see that mine is on number fourth you can see amount of viewers you can see amount of likes and comments right but what I always do is I do this latest updated and I open all of them those that that I catch my eye that I like the look of and that kind of makes me stop scrolling I open them and comment and I say that's cool that's nice I like this I like that and what happens is the more you do that um, the more they will give you back <laughs> really, that's funny. No, so so what is important to remember, right, is there is tactics. There is um, thought behind it. There, you can use this to your advantage, even if you, um, like I said, you don't, you're not going to win, or you're not going to be in the. Um, the final or the whatever you know the fact that you are going to engage with all these people and they're going to see your name uh, commenting on their work they are if they see you updating there's a higher chance that they will look at your work and in return give give you a comment and and in return see you more active on the submission page and in return having more people clicking on it and in return having more exposure and in return more people seeing and higher chance of someone contacting you going hey either I, I really like this concept can I do it in 3d or hey I'm um, I'm interested in seeing if you take commissions or you know but if you never do it if you're hiding in your corner And that is disregarding the simple fact of if you're going to make it or not. Even if you're going to finish it, it doesn't matter. It's a free exposure. And just look at all the submissions for concept art. Like 2,000 submissions already. Uh, that people who have joined the competition. And that is 2,000 people that potentially will look at your stuff. Right? Rollomancer, absolutely. Um, I think you have to. It's really important um, to 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 keep this in mind. And and creating uh, creating a following in that sense, not like we're not talking about Instagram. A following here but a following in the sense that I know I I personally recognize names in the industry based on if they did the submissions to our station challenges but then also obviously I know other names from other situations and workshops and contacting me and, and uh, work experience and all these things but I 
I literally remember some people due to the simple fact that um, I recognize them from our station. Hey, Sir Pine, how's it going? Steven, just start. If you're going to contemplate on doing it, join the, sub join the competition and and if you don't have time to finish it just don't don't finalize the submission and just let it uh, die off right i i did that one year uh, i started uh, one competition and uh, i didn't have time to finish it so i did, never finalized uh, the submission so it just I, I didn't in the end I didn't participate but I spent time developing the concept Sir Pine that's cool yeah I'm doing that now um, uh, you might have missed the beginning but uh, this I did yesterday uh, bubbles uh, the joyful character you have to design characters in the char concept uh, section uh, and now I'm uh, doing um, I'm concepting up Sirius, and I'm thinking he's like a lawman or reverend uh, judge. I'm unsure yet, but I'm I'm trying to kind of hint on law, uh, law and order, and him having scrolls. He he uh, recalls. Hey Amir, thanks. So that's another good point, Gria. That's an extremely another good point. If you participate in the challenge on our station, you will have organic um, increase in traffic um, to your portfolio. On our station you will naturally have more traffic there because you are participating in the challenge um, and you will get a lot more traffic. And I even see that um, because I post my, um, let me show you, might as well. Um, So I, I, I even uh, see the difference in traffic uh, because on YouTube, because I post my videos of my warm-ups there. I've done that on every um, on every challenge I participated in. Um, I always post if I do them on stream. I always post it on uh, after, and they are always have more traffic the YouTube videos, which means people will look at your stuff a lot more, which means you'll have more traffic, which means your portfolio will have more eyes on it, meaning all, all sorts of possibilities open. Right? So it's an extremely smart move to do tactically. D regardless of quality, regardless of outcome, regardless of if you finish or not. And it's just a smart move. And then look at cool stuff, write a comment or two. I kind of like the look of that. that feels like he has a uh, one of those uh, like uh, barrister coats kind of from uh, the Victorian era but he's definitely starting to come across as serious now 
I don't think I need the other concepts uh, because they are weaker. Developed enough. I think I hit enough um, points on this one that I don't need to develop the others, even though. Tactically, that would be a better, uh, better move to do to uh, increase potential outcome. Um, but I'm not doing it. Uh, Gria, absolutely, uh, potentially more warm-up people as well joining us because they see the stream. Um, I'm not I'm not too happy with the face at the moment. I feel like the the basic structure is there. Um, but it needs developing. It needs developing. I, I feel like I have captured the beginning of the character. But it's far from from uh, shape wise it's not there. Strong beyond strong, meaning HR don't do their jobs properly when hiring if it takes a contest to get your portfolio in front of the people that matter. It's, it's, it's about like a numeric, a numeric power, right? Hey, Vale, how's it going? Vale, oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Vale. I'm glad you like them. I've tried to mix up, mix it up a bit. Uh, like uh, many streams ago, we were talking about the future of the stream. Um, you know what what changes that could be, and I um, uh, all these things, right? So I soul searched a bit, made some tactical adjustments. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. But thank you. I'm glad you like it. And uh, thank you for telling me. It means a lot. What things can we introduce on this character that indicates being serious? I want him to feel like a sniper. I want to hint of him being an owl, so I want to have his coat come across his wings a bit. I want him to feel like a lawman. But again, the eyes, the head, I, I feel like needs a, a lot more work. But there is something there, proportionally, I, something I, I like. Good night, Mbeo. Shroom guy. Now the question is, should he have a monocle? <laughs> of course he, sh he should have a monocle. What else? Name tag. Is name tag is something when you're serious? Hey Black Sable, how's it going? I want to... Cheers Black Sable. Like, what can we introduce to this guy so that he feels alien, but feels like a... In Swedish we call them paragraf ryttare, which means... Um, uh, he abides 
to the T by the law. He like writes the rule, writes the rules, right? He does it straight. A pocket clock, yeah. But the risk of that is you. We bring him to 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 a human court wig, a ledger. I was thinking not really a ledger. I think. I think these scrolls are the indicators of uh, law and order, right? I think color, tone, shit, I'm, sp <laughs> I'm spitting on my Cynthic. I, my apologies, Cynthic. I am a bit excited, my apologies was not my intention to spit on you, right? All right. We were friends? Cool. So if you're serious, obviously, colors are not an option. So that's what I was thinking, you know, like, very monochromatic, very boring, Like, say what you want about Louis C.K., right? Some people hate him. I find him hilariously offensive. Um, but nevertheless, what, this is not the point. The point is he's, he made a joke in uh, one of his stand-ups um, that uh, the color beige, like you don't choose beige. In, in terms of car, right? You're given a beige car. Like no one chooses the color beige. Beige is not the color, right? Or tan. He, I think he he mentioned tan. No one gives you tan car, or you don't buy a tan car. You're given a tan car. Tan is not a color. So that that always makes me think, you know, like how boring you have to be and serious you have to be to not care about color. Black Sable, yeah, absolutely. Someone is super OCD, immaculate, symmetrical, yeah, exactly. Formal attire, yeah, absolutely. Name tag, yeah, I think name tag it could be. Um, so one of the one of the key things that I wrote in the initial brainstorming is the serious, right? The serious one is the dark old guy, uh, dark as in mood, dark. Cowboy, sniper, specialist, owl, vulture, death. So the idea behind him is like he's a sniper, right? He's a precision shooter. He He's serious, zero time for laughter, zero time for um, jokes, right? He's the, he's the professional, right? He's very serious. He doesn't enjoy anything. So... So if he is that kind of wizard, for those who don't know, it's a the art competition, and it's the topic is box of mystery, and I decided more or less to do a spin off on Harry Potter in space. So I'm assembling a line of magicians that are having to work together to stop the evil of the universe, right? Uh, so they are supposed to not work together, but work together due to necessity. So they have to uh, engage with each other. <laughs> I used to not care about color. Yeah. Um, it's all business, super clean. Yeah, exactly. Um, and with with that being said. Um, the problem is, am I going to make him more human, stray away from human, but the, all the analogies so far are human, right? We are making suggestions of human history, what is a serious, bus uh, like a lawman, right? 
judge all these things priest is all these things were indicating right so he's naturally going to be quite human but in the alien body and um, hand sanitizer yeah uh, he can have actually uh, vials he could be uh, a prepared man let's make a note hand, hand sanitizer that's funny Sanitizer. Sir. Black Sable. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm trying to come up with. With what sort of narrative tools am I su supposed to use? I mean, I I wanted to indicate an owl. I wanted to indicate seriousness. Vulture with a with a the hunch, right? Um, also want to indicate that he's a sniper in the sense that he's a really long wizard staff or a wizard wand. Uh, I think vials are a good idea that he's a man of knowledge, right? The counting thing I kind of liked as well. Like I like the idea that he's a man that keeps count. So the question is like what what kind of things can we include that suggests he's counting? I don't want to coin purse. It's, he's going to be too um like I don't want him to be full of accessories because he's serious. You don't wear a lot of accessories if you're serious, right? You you are on point, you are clean. So if I add, give him a watch, if I give him coins, if I, all these things they add unnecessarily to his strictness, right? Hey, smile. Saludos. I don't speak Spanish, but greetings from uh, not Argentina. I hope you're safe over there. The thing you're spinning to match the color, a mind, a square. Uh, the abacus. That thing. I think I got to keep him clean. I think he will have definitely clothes on, right? Indications of an owl face is somewhere somewhat where I want it. He should be boring, gray, no colors. What if, what if his vials, we are going to change the vials and we're going to give him a pocket? Only a pocket, because I don't like, I didn't like the idea of a lot of vials, right? But in this box, I, I'm going to steal your uh, Rubik's Cube idea. But the Rubik's Cube idea is not, it is um, a multi-tool this is the box of mystery, but not box of mystery, because the idea, right, that I came up with when you said Rubik's Cube is he can, he can um, extract a rectangle. Hey, Bjorn, brain, wake up. He can extract a rectangle, and in this rectangle, it's an alien vial. 
alien technology vial. So he can, and the vial is divided in, in three, in three segments. Uh, so probably need the outer layer needs to be different and the and and so what he can do is he can combine the cube in different ways and he'll get the vial or he'll get a tool or um, or um, whatever he needs you know like a Swiss army cube So he has that in his um, bag, and it's going to be very like uh, Gestapo-looking, clean, uh, minimalistic pocket. Uh, Ismail. If I know Kim jong -gi, no, not personally. I met him once. Um, I watched him draw live one time, but um, I haven't talked to him. Uh, there were so many people around him all the time. I, I, I just let him be. Gria, yeah, exactly. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Um, thank you for that. I think it, it solved the issue of needing something that indicates complexity without um, making his uh, costuming um, superfluous. Roll of answer, yeah, no. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm not enjoying the legs. They are a bit too strange at the moment. But we're getting there. Bjorni Pie? Oh, Black City Bolt. Are we in nickname category? Or or uh, what's it called? Not nickname, but uh, yeah, nickname category. If I'm if I'm your Bjornipai, I don't know what you are to me. I can't I, I I'm stumped. Pet names. There we go, that's the name of it. Right, so we got now. Mr. Sirius, the vulture. We need a, f a good name for him. Currently, is a ser his name is just Sirius something. And we got Bubbles. If you made me blush, oh no. Oh no, not at all. It needs more than that. It needs more than that to make me blush. The things I've done, oh lord. But then, anyways, we got, um, I got, we got two solid characters already. So we got also one thing to point out, just to to uh, highlight to you, to you, <laughs> is shape language. Bubbles are stretched and circular right uh, mr Sirius is el elongated and sharp um, based on rectangles or, or skewed rectangles 
So, which means I should probably redesign the scrolls. I need to make a note of that. They can't be circular. They have to be different. They have to have some sort of tweak to them. Yeah, the gray rectangle as a character, exactly. So we, he's boring, right? Which means this is probably moving in the wind a bit too much. The question is like, even if the wind is blowing, is he so boring the wind is like, nope. That is the question, right? He has such heavy materials that wind just doesn't affect him. Regimented, strict. <laughs> His superpower is boring. Yeah. Could be a neatly stacked of papers, mm, but that's not like um, effective, right? Like lots of loose papers. He's you gotta be able to like unfold this 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 wallpaper of rules and tactical engagements, right? The Rubik's Cube couldn't hold scrolls because because of the fact that he's changing them to get a special combination of like antidote, poison, vial of something, you know. And he should be able to separate the two because you don't want all in one, right? You want you want to pick and choose your narrative battles. Rollermaster bouncing rather than floating. I know, I know. Uh, but I'm re reserving reserving the choice for later because currently we are two out of six characters in i might need a floating one or i might need a bouncing one uh, because um, mischievous uh, mischievous um, i've decided to times two so mischievous is going to be a pair of uh, space trolls, two girls, right? Twins. They are copies of each other, so they can do maximum amount of mischievous things. And uh, they are going to have a power of gravity, right? Sirius has the power of knowledge and precision. And Bubbles is healing, and and uh, that he he's uh, like a protector of sorts, right? Innocence. So he actually has no f set form as is a bubble. He can grow and expand and and protect his friends, right? So he might not need to bounce. But he might just need to. I don't know. I don't know. Bouncing, bouncing is joyful. Bouncing is joyful for sure. It's a good one. It's a good one. But we'll see. We'll see how the characters develop. Uh, if mischievous is enough separated narratively, I don't think both need to uh, touch ground. Both can float. Joyful Mr. Bubbles, Bubbles can float or bounce, while mischievous twins, they are anti-gravity, so they're, they're going to have legs, but they don't touch ground. Anyways, that's it. Two characters down. Have a great day. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, who can we raid? Anubovich. He's doing something cool. All right, let's raid Nubovich. Bionipai. Pet names. Oh, you. 
Nubovich. 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 All right, we're gonna raid Nubovich. Have a great one. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know if I need to go to the hospital or not. Uh, maybe I reserve the possibility of might needing to go, not stream tomorrow. We'll see. Um, Bruno Romanus, maybe, maybe it's a good point. Uh, I'm gonna do the outro, then take you to the raid. So have a great one. See you on Discord. Tools.